So, Danny, um, the missed field goal last week, what, what happened on that? Again, that's just, that's just a miss, you know, and that was one of the few times that, you know, uh, not that he was frustrated, but you could, you know, you could sense that he, Jason was very surprised. He thought he hit a really good ball and it, and, you know, it started clean, but that's, you know, that's part of it. You know, the, the deeper you go in that stadium at that end with the wind and, you know, they, you know, if it gets caught by a gust or if you don't get a completely clean hit, you're a little bit at the mercy. So, again, anytime we, we go out there to kick, you know, a field goal or a PAT, you know, uh, the, the plan is to come away with points. So that's that's the job. And, uh, you know, we, we, we got to get that executed. How's he dealt with the ups and downs? He, he, he's been he's been outstanding. And again, and, and I'm and I don't know if you guys watch. You guys are at the beginning of Pride when we kick field goal. I mean, he's, you know, he, it's very, very, very infrequent that he misses. So, you know, we got to get that to translate on Sundays, Saturday nights, Mondays, whatever whatever day it may be. But, uh, you know, he's got great confidence in, in what he does and, and his program. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, uh, you know, he's probably disappointed when it doesn't go through. But that's, you know, that's the nature of the beast. Every kick, every situation is different. But you know, even if you go back two years to 2020, it was eight of nine on kicks of 50 or more yards. Since then, three of three of 11 uh, from the past few seasons. Is there anything that you can kind of pinpoint? Maybe a commonality when it comes to the long range. No, field there's goals? not, and it's you know, it's 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 hatchback. And and with Jason, you know, you know, a lot of those kicks. I mean, you know, you know, Jason's his history and and what he does. You know, those are. I don't want to say they're not different because they are, you know, and, and some of them like like the New England, you know, where wind can be a factor, you know, but, you know, when there's no wind, you know, those kicks, you know, for Jason, for a 52-yarder, a 42-yarder, it's there's no difference in that kick for Jason and how he approaches it and how he hits the football. Is that purely as far as obviously the huge drop-off in accuracy over 50 yards? Is it purely the byproduct of accuracy or have you seen any diminishment? Leg strength. Absolutely not. First I mean, not, they're not short. <laughs> so yeah, it's just you know, it's like anything. You know, the, the longer the ball's in the air, there's there's more chance of, of, of things happening. And uh, you know, I, again, I, I know you guys are probably sick of me saying it, but you know, again, I have not lost any any confidence whatsoever in Jason. And you know, I hope for, for him, for for the organization, for the team, for for the fans, for everybody, but more importantly for him that you know we we, we, we get back on that that string of success. Still hitting those long field goals with generally the same frequency as he did yeah. early on in his tenure. Yeah. Shelley with Cedric Wilson dealing with an injury. I'm curious. Hopefully you can share this. Have Tyree Kill and or Jalen Waddle specifically said to you, "I will do this if you need me." Th those discussions are, are, are in house, and uh, uh, I wouldn't share them. Kenny, uh, Thomas Morstead had. Four punts inside the twenty last week, and I know that injuries affect special teams. Can you quantify how difficult it is to get everybody in sync? Uh, maybe some guys aren't used to Morstead, or maybe some haven't played special teams. I don't know. But how, how, how difficult is that it, dance? Every you know, it, it, it's it's tough. You know, there's there, and we we had this discussion a couple weeks ago. It's there, there's there's great years where you don't even you know you, you play game A and. You're going to have the same guys the next week, and you're going to have the same guys the next week, and the practice and everything's, you know, it's just it's part of it, and it's you know it's 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 a work in progress, but that's the job, and uh, you know our guys have done a great job. Some guys have been asked to do more. Some guys have been asked in you know three different weeks. They're asked to do three different things, and you know they've worked hard and and given the best that they have, you know, sometimes, you know, we all want better, you know, you guys have heard me for four years, you know, I'm never happy. I'm never satisfied. You always want more. You always want better, but you know, they've, they worked hard and they've, they've given it their all. That process, is it mostly like film or is it extra reps on special teams? How, how do you, it's, do it, it's, it's all the above. It's, you know, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of avenues of it, but it's, uh, you know, again, the, the, the players are, 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 are doing everything we ask them to do. And he will not disclose it, who's going to return punts on Sunday if Cedric can't go. I just want to ask you, just in general, beyond Cedric, Tyreek, and Jalen Waddle, who else on the roster has enough uh, experience doing that where you would feel comfort level having them return? Uh, again, punts? I'm not going to get into that. And you know, there's you know, there's guys, and uh, you know, there's we'll, we'll keep that again in house. And I understand it, guys. Hey, believe me, <laughs> to to both y'all, you know, great questions. And but uh, yeah, we'll we'll keep yeah. that. Just during this game on Sunday, how many times are you going to 
check your phone on that Patriot score. A never because that'll be a that'll be a fine, and my wife would be highly disappointed in me if I rack up a fine. But you know what? Uh, I want to go out. We, we want to play well, and we want to win a game. You know, the rest of it, you know, I'm not. I, I want to. I want. I want the taste of victory. I want to go win a game. So. Uh, It'll be available on the scoreboard yeah, at stadiums. And again, I'm out, I won't even look. I, I, I'm our task at hand. I want to win a game, and we have an opportunity. Let's go win a game. Coach uh, Thomas is. I'm looking at it right now. Fifth in the inside the 20 yard line rate. He's ninth in into the 10 yard line and 12th inside the five yard line. What's the key to being so successful? Pinning the ball into the 20 yard line. Well, I, I think it's a combination of, of, you know, obviously his experience, you know, he, he understands what he wants to do, how he wants to do it. And then, you know, you, you need to have good gunner play. You need to have good protection. So it's, it's, it's unit. And again, that's, it's critical, you know, if, you know, one of our jobs, and it's the whole team, but one of our jobs is, is, is field position. And, you know, the, the, the more opportunities you have to, uh, to be able to pin the opposition, uh, you know, it, it makes it more difficult for them. Just as, as we know, when, we, when we're started backed up, it's, you know, it's, it's not easy. So it's a, it's a group effort, but Thomas has really done a nice job. Teams and it's made for some difficulties, but how would you grade the job that you have done this season? I, I'm, I'm not going to get into that after the season. 